What's going on, man? We back at y'all with another one. Right. Urban Talk Network, we in the building again. Yo, man, we need y'all to like and subscribe to the channel, man. It ain't gonna take nothing but a second. It ain't gonna cost you no money. Just to like and subscribe to the channel, man. But um, I got G Biggs with me. What's up? I got Belly Val with me. Yeah, yeah. We doing our thing, man. Let's talk about it, man. Yo, what a game tonight, man. So, uh, as you may know, 123-117. Hey. New York Knicks with another one. Woo. Yo, the game was crazy, man. It was crazy, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, game, man. Yo, we started out hot. Right. First quarter, we went five for seven in the first quarter from three-pointers. That's what got us our cushion. That's you a know fact. what I'm saying? Because if we could start off most games like that, you know, we're going to have more competition than the New York, uh, the New Orleans Pelicans. They're, they're a good team. You know, they don't got Zion tonight. But if we can attack early they on. They didn't have Ingram either, sorry. Oh, they didn't have Ingram as well. Yeah. Right. If we can attack early on like that, we're always going to have upper hand. That's what any fucking NBA Right, we, 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 went, we, went, we went wire to wire tonight, right, too. Right, right, we went wire to wire. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we, they, ne they, never, they never got the, uh, the lead, right? Nah, okay, nah. Okay, good, good. But, like, like, the crazy thing is, like, the difference between this season and last season, mm -hmm. on paper, we beating the teams that we supposed to beat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We beating the teams that we supposed That's to beat on paper. That's what good teams paper. do. Right. That's what good teams do. That's the difference between us and two years ago, Knicks, four years ago, Knicks, or whatever. You already knew that when they came in with a good team, they were going to outshine us. They were going to outclass us. Right. We got the class and we got the shine this year. Because at the end of the day, we're going to talk about Kemba first. What Kemba did. Yo, Kemba had, uh, Kemba had uh, 19 points, five assists, four rebounds. Kemba did right. his thing. You know what I mean? The, the game the before that, the game before that, he had, let me see. First of all, Kemba shooting 58% uh, from three for the season so far. I mean, we know it's going to drop, but yeah. Kimba doing his thing. Yeah, got 21. It don't, it don't have to drop, bro. I mean, it, 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 it don't. don't have to depends, drop. But his shot selection is 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 wacky at times. When Kimba was an all-star, the last time when he was with the Hornets, his three-point percentage was over 40%. So we know that he's capable of taking this the whole season. No, that's, 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 that's a fact. Like, look, against Chicago, he had 21 points. Mm-hmm. Against Philly, he had 19 points. Right. As I stated, he shot. He sh right now, currently, he's shooting 58 percent from three. Right. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, yo, we start out the game. We hit. We hit five or seven three pointers to start out the game in the first quarter. Right. You know what I'm That's saying? That's what gave us our cushion. Yeah. What you talking about, Cuz? Yeah, backcourt. Mm hmm. Yeah, backcourt basically had 19 points each. 19 for all oh, because we're going to talk about Fournier. That's, that's yeah. right. That's yeah. crazy. You know, what I mean? that's good, man. Right. That's right. fucking good. Fournier, I, I had 19 that. three pointers. 19 three pointers for the night? For the night. Yeah, I had 19 three pointers. 19 three for the night. night. That that's what good. saved the night for y'all. Right. We lead Pelican, the league. Pelicans had 52 points in the paint. We, we lead the league and made threes. That sounds good. We, we lead the league and made threes. That sounds you know what I'm good. Now, that, now, that's one, and, and you, you just uh, touched on it. Fournier had 19 points as well. Fournier is really surprising me. I didn't want to talk about I was a Fournier hater. I knew that he was the number one option on Orlando. Right, right. They went to the playoffs. We talked about it in the last podcast. But what I'm talking about is that I didn't understand that how easy he gets his points. You understand what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. he's got the nice Euro step, and his three is just as good as Walker's. Fournier ain't got a rally. Right, he's, he's he definitely not a rat. He takes more shots. He, 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 don't, he don't force I, it. Let me just tell you something. All the, what, we've got six six games in? I mm -hmm. haven't seen Fournier take a bad shot yet. Maybe one or two. Well, probably like in the last seconds of the shot clock. Right, right, you right. You understand right. what I'm saying? And uh, Taj came through off the bench and did with Mitch. You know, Mitch is just uh, coaxing a little bit. I think the injury last game... Slowed down Mitch a little bit. He was kind of bit, he was kind of apprehensive. Right, he right. Did you know 10 what I'm rebounds. <laughs> Mitch Robinson didn't have ten rebounds yet. Nah, but yo, he didn't. No, he averaging he averaging eight and nine. He had so he, he had, had to have ten rebounds. He had five he rebounds in the Chicago Bulls. No, he had six rebounds against Chicago and five tonight. I gotta check the. Okay. I gotta check the numbers big, on that. He, that's your starting five. 
Check it. He, but he but he went against he went he went he went against a good big man tonight. Balachunas is a double double king. Rebound, man. You know what I'm saying? He's a double double king. Julius Randle Valentine had a bad game tonight. against Chicago Bulls. He shot bad. We're gonna talk Julius Randle had 16 rebounds. We're going to talk about Julius tonight. That's for yeah. sure. How many turnovers he had? Okay. Now, yeah, I'm I just, I'm, tonight? We just no. building up to exactly who yeah. we need to be talking about tonight. <laughs> I wanted to talk about everybody else who was contributing factors tonight, but let's talk about the man of the hour. All All Jizzle, Barrett, man. All Jizzle, my nizzle. Yo, RJ don't like when the, when when uh, when people talk about him in the social media bad, and you know, uh, we 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 talk we talking other little Knicks clicks and all that other stuff. Everybody's getting bad on RJ. Are you kidding me? RJ is playing at an all star level right now. What he had? Thirty five points. He had uh, he, RJ had uh, thirty five points, eight rebounds, six assists. That's what RJ had tonight, man. What you got to say about that, brother? It's part of your shutdown. That's all star. That's all star numbers. That's all star numbers, right? There. Tonight. 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 What number he gonna have? What he gonna do the next game? Let me. What, that, that, what, that, what that, he did before that? Good. Remember, I said, I he said, hold on, hold on. You said you asked me a question. I okay, said, go ahead. RJ is capable of having those numbers, right? He can. I told Cuz. Cuz said, how many? I said he can average twenty one seven and seven. Mm -hmm. He can do that. And that's exactly what he need to do. That's what he need to do. It's no but, excuse. But, There's no excuse. But RJ, uh, he can has, do that. But RJ has been producing those numbers for the last four games straight. No, RJ is averaging nineteen points, five and five at least. The two games against the Warriors. Now he averaging. He, he, now he averaging. His percentage is gonna go up right now, but he was only averaging thirteen points, thirteen point something a game. In uh, these, these first couple points. games. No, it's going to go up. But RJ, didn't RJ get go like 19 last game and, yeah. uh, and about 20, 21? No, he had, he, had, he, had 19, uh, he had 19 against Chicago. Okay. Then he had, then he had no, he had 19 against Philly. Mm -hmm. And, and he then had he had 20 against Chicago. He okay. had 11 against Orlando. He had right. 11 against Orlando. You right. know what I'm saying? Right, nah, you so, stepped it up tonight. No, 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 no. no. So listen, Don't let me get tell me you the difference. I, want, I, I like RJ. Yeah, yeah. I just need him to be consistent. We need RJ to be consistent. Right. The whole the, the team needs RJ to be consistent. Facts. Right. No, that's a fact. So so for for me, like I've been talking about all the episodes. Right. RJ is the facilitator. RJ needs to be more aggressive. RJ, he showed tonight, all of that tonight. Tonight, tonight. yeah. He wasn't tonight, looking tonight. to stand in the corner. He wasn't looking to defer to Randall. He like Randall want the ball. RJ is like I'm. I'm going to the rack. All them, all them little five footers and and and, and eight, you know, eight footers in the paint and all that. Right. All going down. Right. Everything. The, the, the blinky from the three. Yeah. Lit. Like right. you feel me? Like he. Corners. It was score first mentality. Right. But I'm the facilitator. I'm. I'm crazy with it. The assist that he was throwing was brilliant. And him and Mitchell Robinson. With that pick and roll shit, yeah, they, they is crazy. They took over the third quarter with that. It's crazy. How many assists RJ had for the night? Now RJ RJ had six assists, but the way six he assists. like was, he did a lot a of solid, hockey assists too. Yeah, yeah. it was a, it was a solid assist tonight from RJ. Solid right. like a motherfucker. Right, and let's talk. Okay, we made a lot of timely baskets, right. man. We, we talk about Kemba. He's he's filling the offense. He's getting in the groove to the point where um, D Rose didn't even have to come in that much. Right, 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 right. right. And now Fournier. He's playing good. He's smooth with the offense. He don't take bad shots. At the end of the day, we're going to talk about Julie. Oh. Julie looks a little bit out of sorts because he didn't. He never had this much help. You right. understand what I'm saying? He Everything was on his shoulders for the last two seasons. First season, we ain't going to talk about it. Second season, uh, most improved player. This season, he wanted to come out guns blazing, but... They gave him guns. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Now, you could say it two ways. He was playing the corner tonight because either he was deferring or he had confidence in RJ. Now, I just feel like if you have confidence in RJ, we're going to have a good season. But if you're deferring and you feel like you need to be the dude that scores 30, we don't need that, bro. Right. Like, you tonight, he, tonight he had... 10, um, 10 points, mm -hmm. six rebounds, four assists. Yeah. Um, but was, was, was kind of alarming to me, like especially like in the first half when 
RJ decided like I'm gonna be different tonight. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna attack. I'm I'm, go I'm not gonna defer to nobody. I'm gonna attack. attack. And like when when Jews would come for the ball, mm -hmm. RJ like now nah, I'm in my I'm in my rhythm. Mm -hmm. So Son just stand there like and, and get out the way. Right. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. And RJ had it going. Right. So you know I don't know what they did at halftime or whatever, but you know he started referring to RJ, Kemba. Right. And he let he let everybody else shake because right. he realized like yo I don't got it going on tonight. Right. Let me not get in my feelings. Do you agree with that? Do you agree that that's what RJ mentality is or what? Tonight it was. If he if he if he has that, that good. Yeah, yeah, that's that a was good. Uh, because because I, mm -hmm. he, like I said, he can do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I. He's that type of player. He's crafty. He's very. He shifty. gets to the hole at he will. He gets to the hole any time. You Anytime know what I mean? Want. All left hand players are a problem. Right. Holding them, you got right. to have Falls. trouble holding them. They, they, Southpaws in the NBA has always been a problem. You know what I mean? So, right. so like he can do it. All right, right. Let me ask you a question. Who do RJ remind y'all of? <sighs> a lot of players, man. A lot of players. I think that RJ, did. to me, in the beginning. He was a Joe Johnson type of player. Mm -mm. Like, go ahead. What man, you feel? Man, what man, you man. feel? I, I feel that Joe Johnson started off in the league slow. Everybody was like, ah, oh, nah, Joe Johnson, he's he's an in-between player, almost a bust. But then when he got to Atlanta, you understand what I'm saying? And he let that clip go. When he was the number one option on Atlanta, everybody was on Joe Johnson's whatever. You what, what I'm saying? What, what you think? What you think? I don't know. I never even... Whatever. For me, yeah. for me, he is a young Paul Pierce. That's no. they not. He not super athletic. He's not super athletic. Paul Paul was Same a super thing. athletic. Same thing. Like you know, RJ, RJ is crafty. Like Pierce is crafty. I don't, I don't have a player for RJ. The reason why I disagree with y'all players, you, you, you right. You know what Joe, I mean? When, okay, when Joe I said Joe Johnson. Right, when he, he when he left Phoenix and right, all that, he, right. came to Atlanta, he came to Atlanta and he, he was the number one option. option. Right. But those guys, with Paul Pierce and Joe Johnson, they knew where their sweet spots were. RJ is on learning. That court, on that court. RJ is learning. RJ learning, bro. On that court. RJ but, learning. But they had that, they, they already had that though. You know what I'm saying? Right. They already had that. Not in the beginning. Not in the beginning though. RJ is in his third, uh, third, year. no third. This, third, this is third year. Third year. I, I third year. It, third I year. It. You got to think about players that second, third year, and, and, and is a different type of players right now. But, like, but, you know listen, 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 listen. Like you could say that, but like a lot of the players that came out highly drafted, RJ came out highly drafted. Right. Third but time. other other players that came out highly drafted, they was the number one option on their team. So right. they, they so he had other ways they, they 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 had the green light to go. RJ, about, RJ never we, had that we, yet. He ain't had that yet. I know we talking about the Knicks, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna tell you a player that got better every year that he was in the league. Right. Jabba Ray. Jabba Ray. Jabba Ray is the same same, same draft, draft, same draft. But, but who got who, better every year? What does he have on RJ, his team? What RJ, does he have on his team? RJ has gotten Jabba better has every year. Yo, dude, dude, dude. Every year. when they made the playoffs last year, yeah, do the play in, do the play in, yeah, yeah but but like, do the play in, but like, the, the Knicks made the playoffs, the Knicks made the playoffs, the Knicks made the playoffs, yeah, right. But what but I'm trying to, I'm listen. Listen. What, the, what, what, the, what the players have to do, we talking about players of the year, the year so, they end, we so listen, this year again. was he in, was he the number one option, bro? Even what, here, listen, if, if what's he number one option? Regardless of what, Randall ain't clicking every game. You're still the second option, period. RJ is the second option. RJ All right. He's the not second. the third or fourth option, bro. Right, you just question, shot RJ him. Is stop that. Stop, stop that. RJ stop is that. Listen, listen himself. to me. Stop that. Yeah. That's the second option. Stop as that. We you speak. this episode, you talking about he shot 40% for three point. He averaged 17 points. Yes, cool. C copy. He has to get better every year. Uh, that's every what he's doing. He has. He's getting better each. Yo, he RJ, has. RJ is still struggling. As, as, as I'm watching, he's not I right him, now. I didn't watch tonight's game. RJ is still struggling at, from the mid range jump shot. He still can't hit a mid range jump shot. But and that's RJ is fucking shot. And smashing. that's what I mean. And that's what RJ I mean. Is and that's what I mean about and coming through with and that. That's what, and that's what I mean about Paul Pierce and Joe Johnson. 
They had that sweet spot. They ain't no, shoot. You got They did go not shoot back. threes. You they didn't shoot three. Okay. RJ is shooting more threes than Paul Pierce and I'm shooting right now. I guarantee you. The, the, the game is different. The game you, is different. No, it's still bro. different. No, no, but no, no, you no, still no, no. gotta have your sweet spot. No. You all you, you still have to have to have you your sweet spot. What was your question? You talking What was your question? Your question was uh, the, the player has to get better every year, right? No. No, so no, no. listen, I don't agree with. You, but listen, you but have listen, to. You, you I, I agree with that. Okay. But for me, to. but for this, me, listen though, bro. I don't agree with. For me, yeah. RJ, I'm RJ rookie why. season, okay, RJ rookie season, mm -hmm. fourteen points a game, right? Second, second season, sophomore season, About seventeen, no, yeah. seventeen point four. Okay, forty from the forty from three, forty four from the field. I would give you. We in the third season right now. We the way he looked, the, the way he season. looked tonight. Six it might have games in. It might have clicked to him. The Bob Wisdom might have clicked to him. Like, yo, Six I got to do this. In. He's That's playing what you're you talking you about know, you know how right I'm now. That's how I'm going to shut it down right now. This guy. Okay, this guy. okay. This guy. okay. I, don't I don't know. I don't yo, know. Yo, like and subscribe, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. No, hold on. This is hold on. Okay, hold go, on. Ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. First two, three episodes, whatever. What we said, I said, order for RJ. We, not, not I. We said, order for RJ to be better. And be consistent. He has to be better to be able to shrimp, finish strong at the hole. That's what he's been doing. No. no he did that tonight. He's doing that the last couple games. And that's why he's putting the numbers he's putting up right now. Right. Because he's able to finish be better at the hole. That means, six games that means, into the third that means, season. That means he's getting better at something that he needs to be working on. And that he couldn't, be, he couldn't do the last couple seasons. But he is. And right or wrong. Nigga, we just said right that. Right 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 he is. Wrong. You did not say that. You okay. did not say that. We, okay. we, said, we showed the evolution I, I, of the season. You did not say that. Of the we season. Can pair, and I'm saying, I'm saying. Can, go ahead. Go ahead. We compared. I said Joe Johnson. He said Paul Pierce. We're going to have to go back and look at these numbers about Joe Johnson first three years. Well, shit. First two years and five games, six games into the fucking season. And Paul Pierce. First two years, five games. And this so show the evolution that these are the comparisons and these are perennial all stars that Joe we're talking Johnson, about. Joe Johnson wasn't even a start in his first his first couple years. He was coming up. He wasn't as, he, he wasn't in the so same situation in, but, that right. the and Knicks put him in. in. And right. guess what? He and, wasn't and, in the and, same and, situation. You know, Joe Johnson wasn't. He was airing that shit out in Phoenix, and then when he went to Atlanta, he was the man. He wasn't. He wasn't really airing shit out. In you Phoenix. have to get so back. He, when he came so to now, Atlanta, let me ask you a question. He had the go. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. He let had the question. Go. Now let's now let's let's let because we got to get this on my budget. Let's see. Let's right. say let's say President Lee R. Rose say he called Tibbs. Mm -hmm. Yo, Tibbs. Give the ball to RJ. Give the ball to RJ. Let RJ. Let's see. Let's see how it look for the next couple games. Right. RJ has the number one option, and Randall the second option. Okay. Let's see how it look. What you think RJ going to do? RJ's going to spank him. He's going to spank him, right? RJ is, is going to go to the hole about 75% of the time because he, he he's quick off the dribble. He's got a quick first step. He's a, he's, he, what, RJ is about 6'7", six, 6'8". Seven, six, you yeah, understand? Six, seven. Okay, we, we're talking about Kobe height. We got good angles. At the end of the day, we got to stop talking about RJ in a bad light. It's because he's got a fucking... He's got a dude... That's supposed to be the star that disappears a lot. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that part Randall right disappears a lot, and we have seen it in the last but, two but, games. But you answer the question, why, though. You answer the question, though. Go ahead. I'm you answering answer your question. question no, I'm going to repeat it again. Right. I'm repeat it again. Our president, Leon Rose, right. say, to, say to, you know, he called, he, he called Tim, like, yo, listen. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that um for the next few games, let's just see how it looks. Yo, um, make RJ the number one option. We're going to run through RJ. Mm -hmm. Let Randall be the number two option. The, the money. What you think going to happen? What you think going to happen? I think, you, I, me personally. Right. I think the Knicks will play better. Well, what you I think, think RJ will do? RJ? Yeah. RJ will play good. But it's about. Is he that type of player? Can you, can you give him that role? To say your RJ, you the man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right now. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. 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 But we're Absolutely. gonna talk about is it, is a me. I, me it was a, I, 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 bro, I've been an RJ fan. The I, NBA I don't, I don't, I'm, not is a Duke, not, I'm not a Duke fan. The, I, I watch Duke and all of them. The NBA is like not RJ. about 
who you say or whatever is not word of mouth is where the money resides. The money resides. You just gave fucking Randall this one seventeen. You just gave on top of his other you know, shit going on. All of, you know, he he took less money. Whatever. That was a good look. Good look, Julie. Shout out, yeah. shout out to Randall for that Ju one. Julie did good. Yeah. But you Julie cannot be the number one option and 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 um stepping back all the time because at the end of the day, some people out there is probably gonna say that Julie is is kind of jealous that can be is fucking lighting them up and RJ is lighting them up. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be your time again. You're always gonna be the number one option, and you gotta start fucking playing like that. Listen. Because last last game, he he saved himself with 16 rebounds and nine assists. Yeah, he had a bunch of turnovers. He yeah, he digressed again. But we still winning. I'm gonna tell you why. He digressed again. This this game, you understand what I'm saying? What, 10 points and 10, 6, and 4. That's not good. Look, I'm, I'm gonna tell you That's why. not good, bro. Listen to me. Now, if y'all agree, y'all can tell me y'all agree. Okay. We, we picked up 48, right? Last year for, he's last, last year for he's the making, Celtics. He's making it look easy. Oh, last year for the Celtics, he averaged 19 points. Okay. Kemba came from the Celtics, too. He averaged 19 points. Right. Right? Right. Last year, he Randall. Yeah, he la la last year, Randall ran the point forward. Yeah. Constantly. Right. All the time. Right? So now, we had, we had, um, uh, we had uh, what's the guy that we just traded away? I, I keep forgetting his name. Mark, uh, damn. Um, we had um, uh, Reggie Bullock. Reg Reggie Bullock, right? right? Right. Spot up guy. Yeah. He he gonna stay in his corner. Mm -hmm. Great defense. Right. Whatever the case may be, right? So now, like I told you in the very first episode, now the difference is we got a traditional point guard. We do. So now. If you look, if you've been watching the Knicks games, if y'all been watching the Knicks games, Randall, when he come up the court, like when Kimba come up the court with the ball, Kimba likes that same side that Randall like. Okay. So Randall is off and to the to the other side of the court. Right. So now he ain't nowhere near his sweet spot. He's right. not nowhere near his sweet spot because you. you know he like to drive right and fade with the left. So on now the top he on of the key to the on, left side. Right. Right. So, so he on the opposite side now because Kimber like to operate from over there. Since you mentioned Reggie, think Bullock, about it. Since you Reg, since you mentioned Reggie Bullock, tell us, try him if you want. Reggie Bullock is it did way more than he was expected to last year, and the reason why is that's why we resigned Burke. Burke is doing what uh, Reggie Bullock is supposed to do: 10, 12 a night. Mm -hmm. Bust it out for the fucking second unit. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm Before saying? Before he got hurt last year, Burke, he was averaging 18. Yeah. Before he, he got hurt. He was having great crazy games. Yeah. Burke yeah, he was, came he was through. Killing. How much Burke had tonight? Uh, Burke, okay. Burke's numbers wasn't that crazy. Yeah, he, he had 10, 3, and 1. No, no, no. It's crazy. That's exactly what he's supposed to be doing. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. Coming off the bench. Randall is going to have to accept playing tag team. He's gonna have to accept that he's, he's gonna not gonna have, have the numbers like he had it. last year. And that was the and that was the big question. Mm -hmm. Can Randall accept that? Can, can that's what I wanted that? you to talk about. Can he accept it? Because you know what I'm at the end of the day, first of all, basketball is a sometimes if you got motherfuckers that's me first, me first, it's gonna throw off all the whole kilt out of the whole team. You ain't got that. You, this is not football with 97 motherfuckers on the team. Right, right. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. You're going to have to accept taking less shots. And we're looking at this right now. We're six games into the season, brother. We're going to be talking all ups and downs, ins and outs throughout this whole 82-game season. Six games into the season, this is my an analysis. We analysis. This, we talk and talk, right? We talking that urban talk. Urban talk urban network. Urban talk network. Like, like and subscribe. Definitely. This is what's happening. Julius is learning that RJ has, has got an alpha mentality as well. Right. You yeah, understand yeah. what I'm saying? Right. Alpha, yeah. motherfucker, motherfucker, RJ is not going to be played with because I, I know he looked at social media because you know you know the the, the, the stuff that uh, these other uh, talk shows or whatever, all these other um, social media uh, posts. RJ's trash. RJ's this. No, RJ's not trash. RJ now is playing kidding. second fiddle and he feel like he can be first fiddle but mm -hmm. last year was so great for um Julius Randle 
that he wants to. He ride. He want to ride that he, wave. He want to ride that wave. He want to ride that wave. But at the end of the day, RJ is really on his heels, and we got two more hired guns that's making it look easy. RJ is. I mean, Randall has got to play his role. He got to accept it. He got it. He got to accept it. He's got to. That's accept the key it. to Randall. The I don't understand. What he got to accept about. it. He's got to accept, accept it. it. Yo, right. do, do y'all know that we sec we we second highest scoring team right now? You know what I'm saying? And we got and we got shit. The first league. highest is it Golden State? I'm not sure the first highest. I gotta check the stats on that. Okay. But what's 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 bad about us too? We we shooting horrible from the free throw line as a team, like fucking like seventy percent or some crazy shit like that. So now you always like eighty. From, because I'm talking about feel, overall though. Let's average talk, overall. Let's talk about Tibbs rotation. Cause what you feel about Tibbs rotation and how it's been going since the beginning? I like it. He had a, he had a moment where it was a weird lineup. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what game that was. It could have been an Orlando game. It was, it was, it was, it was Orlando game. It was Orlando game. Why didn't you say that? It was Orlando game. Why didn't you say that? I'm like, I was there. I wanted to say that. Why he got that lineup in yeah. the game? That Thank shit. He had he had Burke in the game too long. Too long. Too long. He didn't put Obi in the game. Let's talk about Obi. Obi only had probably like one or two points tonight. But when Obi got in the game, he I'm spread. He, he, of course, I'm a fan too. Obi spread the he spread the court. He spread the court because people are fearing OJ. Obi. Obi. Obi yeah. Oh. People are fearing Obi. Go ahead. Obi play. Listen, Obi only had like what? Obi Obi had like one point tonight, or whatever. Like two or three it don't rebounds. Matter. But but Obi really locked in defensively. Obi's locked. He in locked here. in defensively. See, we don't even got Obi uh, defensive stats. Yeah, he locked no. in defensively. I, I know he got a nice. Uh, he had a nice block. Yeah. Right. I'm telling you, I'm an Obi fan. I'm an Obi fan. The draft night before the draft, I kept telling mm -hmm. Cuz, I'm like, Yo, Cuz, the Knicks need to draft Obi. They need to draft Obi. He like, Who Obi? I'm like, Yo, listen, draft Obi. Tell me like, Nah. I'm like, Yo, go check him out. I'm telling you, I'm bit right, right or wrong. Nah, he said that. Right? I'm like, yo, Obi Toppin, son. I'm telling I watched those games, pick. but I didn't really like, follow him that. That's like who that. they need to pick. And I'm telling him, last, right. last year, right. when the Knicks got bumped by the Atlanta Hawks, I said, right. yo, if I was Tom, I'd have put Obi Toppin at the five, right? Mm -hmm. Had, you know, Capella yeah. come out. Right. Because Randy's struggling right now. Right. Now, let's, we got to get you to eat, Randy. You are bread and butter right now. I gotta, get, me, I gotta get you to come out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now he doing that this season. You right. notice that Obi is at the five and Randy was at the four. Right. They they doing that. And and and, and the court is spread out open and that shit look beautiful because of the energy. Those those tricky lineups. lineups. Those those tricky lineups but that we could, me, that we could, that we could like, like put we, out like there. We, like we talking about tricky lineups. I think Obi is better at the four. No, he's definitely better at the I four. I think Obi is better. He's, he's at definitely the four. better at the four. But I would not going. He's not going to get there. the time at the four. He's though. not. It's because he, that's where the money resides, right? Like, right. like I just said, it. that's where you look. You at. paid your yeah. power forward to be the power forward. He's not going to get that Obi time. Obi is the backup power forward. But I think that when you slide Randall to the five, it's going to be difficult some nights, like you said. Slide Randall to the five. We, yeah, with, with Capella, it's going to be I difficult. Slide Randall to the five. Yeah, I listen, slide listen. I, I slide Obi to the five. I'm talking about in crunch moments when we need all offense on deck. You gotcha. understand what I'm saying? Because Taj came through tonight. Taj came through with 13 points. Taj yeah. is going to be Taj. You understand? Yeah, Taj had Taj and had 13, and Mitch, 7, and, and Mitch one. is showing that he's he's running the routes and he's getting his uh. And especially when it's with RJ, because him and RJ seem like they play very good together. You understand what I'm saying? Pick and roll. But Pick and at roll. the end of the day, they're both liabilities on offense. If you can have a, a, a five that'll pull that five out and have Obi doing exactly what he do, he's do, he does it well. Everybody's going to sleep on him because he's second-year player or whatever, whatever. Obi is better than expect. I'm not going to say he's better than Randall right now. He's definitely not. Right, but Obi is better than we expected him. No, to he be got a lot of upside at this, at this point that, right that, now. The summer league helped him. He yeah, had a lot of upside. Definitely did. The summer league helped him. Mm -hmm. So, what, what y'all think right now is the key to the Knicks' success, though? Right now, early in the season, what y'all think is the key to their success? You think? Defense. Defense is always going to be number one. Defense, 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 and bench. Bench, bingo. Right, the bench, bingo. As long as the bench, like like tonight, we didn't even need our bench that much. You said you said it well. 
We didn't need to bench that much, but at the end of the day, let's talk about IQ. IQ is going to suffer. He's struggling right now. Yeah, he, he, you know why he's suffering? Because that new, uh, that new, league, that new rotation. New, and, and, and everybody and talking room, about yeah. James Harden is looking crazy because he can't slide off. We talked about it. Right. He can't slide off and put that show. James Harden had 16 that. free throws the other night. So okay. everybody, they made a big deal about that. Right. But at the end of the day, they're going to have to adapt to that. And IQ is one of the. Who? Who? The Nets. I'm not sure when we play the Nets, but I will be. In the oh, we're going to be in the building. We're going to be in the oh, building. Oh, we're going to be in the building when, when they play the Nets. At the end of the day, IQ is going to have to be more of that uh, fake teardrop game. You understand what I'm saying? I love his teardrop game. You understand yes. what I'm saying? IQ, when he's open, take the three. You're not a player that can create off the dribble and, and shoot threes like, you know, I think Burks is better at, you know, creating off the dribble and shooting off the three yeah. than, than IQ. But IQ is going to have to play exactly how he's supposed to be playing because he's the, sec he's the anchor of the second, the second, second, unit. Uh, second unit. Because Ro Rose is going to come through and do exactly what he do because Rose is going to play bully he's, ball. He's a season veteran. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He's a season you know veteran. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, like I, like you said, the bench is going to be our captain. Right. Speaking of the bench, mm -hmm. see the difference is what really make us rock, and we've been we've been wired to wire a lot of games. Mm -hmm. Might lose a lead for like a couple minutes if we get it right back after winning the you know the whole game. I don't like see, the fact that we do that so much, but hey, I don't like it either. But but this is the difference. But, but that's basketball. This is the difference though. Mm -hmm. Our bench. Could be someone else's starting lineup, a lower, a lower echelon team, yeah, a lower echelon team. Could be that's starting lineup, but that's what you no, want. exactly. That's what so you like want. last year and prior years, right? We could have a decent starting unit, you know what I mean? But we went through too many long stretches right. without scoring the basketball. Right, definitely that Chicago game. Yeah, we, we, we went through. like three minutes and a half. But listen, going in that fourth. No, but but your crazy thing is, that's okay. You know what I mean? Like because but before, we was going six, nine minutes without scoring a basket. Mm -hmm. With all the offers we got around us, all we got to do is find the right hand. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? The and that's what, we've been, that's what we've been doing. The high hand. These are professional players. Right. 90% of the time, if they get a wide open shot, they knocking it down. That's the right thing to say. Because you know what I'm saying? The first game when we beat Boston, we, we found Fournier. You understand what I'm saying? Right. The second game, we found, uh, it, was, it was Kemba. No, it was Kemba and Rose. Rose got us through that Chicago game. If you you, you remember, it was no Kemba. Rose act up. Right, he acted a fool. It, it was a couple of minutes, but it was a couple of basket, minutes. Key, key basket. Right. But guess what though? Locked down defense by Barrett. By yeah. Barrett. Locked down yeah. defense by Barrett. He locked up. He he locked up DeRozan when he needed to. Let me. He locked you, up Tatum when he needed to. Let me tell you what RJ said in the. Um, interview. He said, I grew up in Toronto. I grew up watching DeRozan. I seen that pump fake a hundred times. DeRozan came through with that pump fake, which I know he do too. Mm -hmm. That's clientele. And all he did was put his hands up. He just put his hands, he just up, put his he, hands up. He knew that DeRozan was coming with that fake because DeRozan is probably still one of the best mid-range shooters in the game. He don't shoot threes. Yeah, he, 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 he hit mid-range yeah, killer. He'll bust with yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah, mid-range killer. Saying? And, yeah, and and yeah, for yeah, us to yeah. have a locked in smart defensive player like that on our team, which is all jizzle, that's gonna put us through a lot. Right. That's gonna take us through a lot of fucking wins through this through the season. But but also this is what I want you to understand too. This is this is primarily to you. Mm -hmm. All right. He took he, now this year he wants to guard the best player. He does. So so which he should. He's, so listen, which so he he's ex, he's exerting a little bit more energy. So that's why the numbers teetered off in the first couple games a little bit. Because you know what I'm saying? He want like that's he's like he giving her energy. You feel mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. On the defensive end. Right. Mm -hmm. So like you know what I'm saying? So now this time he being a, bit, a little bit more aggressive. So I want to see the consistency with this aggression. Mm -hmm. If Randall got it going, all right cool. cool. But still when he got it going I still want to see you not <laughs> defer to him, not see him walking towards you. I said, you the, the, the pass it to him. Gotta be consistent. Gotta be consistent. We we we, we talking yeah. about we talking about. Yo, son, I seen this game right here. I seen 
Um, RJ, RJ him. got his man. I seen RJ got his man at the, at the um on the wing, at the three point line. Randall walking up, uh, walking over there to him. Mm -hmm. He looked at Randall and just start making it, start making his move. Randall was like, and and and, 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 and moved lie. over and just and just stood there. Cause and, and RJ went. Cause that's what he got to do to make Randall understand. The ball, like the, the ball is in your good. court. After I say what I say, I'm gonna say this statement, and the ball is in your, in your court. I want you to piggyback off this. I called Shug. It was about third in a minute on the third, third quarter. I said, yo, I'm coming over. I said, that nigga RJ, that nigga Randall was jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yo, I, I said, see this, I, I said, said, I, said I said, Randall is feeling jealous right now. What, what do you, it. you, you seen, you seen what's been going on. What do you feel about the morale of the team if RJ is taking off how he is? Because I don't see RJ stopping. Go ahead. RJ will, will get a chain of energy. Mm -hmm. I think so gonna, too. Because because he gonna RJ can pass. Mm -hmm. RJ gonna move. He gonna make sure that everybody get that. Not, not only that. Not only does not RJ only pass. And, and, and he, he's he's very unselfish. He's very unselfish. Right. He's right. not a selfish that's, player. That's a big thing. He's a super I, like, facilitator. Like, like, right. I, I tell I, I tell Cuz I'm like yo. When 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 Randall get the ball when he get a when he get a double chain he dead don't want to pass the rock. He dead don't want to pass the rock. That's why you get all his turnovers because you need like, damn, fuck, I can't even get the shot on. Let me, let me pass the ball now. And he, he now likes to go down that baseline down. and jump in the air underneath sometimes, the rim and swing right, it out. Right. You feel me? So and like RJ would like, never do that. You understand what I'm saying? Because he RJ, RJ would never do that because first of all, he knows his place, he knows his lane, and Randall. I'm not gonna say that he's. What they call what, what they say uh, overrated? He's not overrated. He just gotta understand his lane because right. there's a cap. You understand? Right, right. right. Especially he's, with the squad we got. He's not KD. You understand what I'm saying? Right. He's not those he, type of players. He's not those type right. of players. He just gotta understand that he's an elite player in the in the game right now. But RJ is right on his heels. Yeah, because like the difference is like I said again, right. RJ is a super facilitator, right. and he like. He goes to the the basket, mm -hmm. like his off the dribble is crazy. Mm -hmm. He go he go to the basket, mm -hmm. and he's a great passer. The great passer. You feel me? So like now we we breaking the defense down. Like they tried to do that, they try to they try to play a two three on us. That that it was working. That's what that's what made the zones come back. zones been it was working. working. It's working. Been working. But you know what happened? Yeah, right. Timber, Nigga man. shot the shit yeah, out of him. Right. Shot him right out of that zone. Timber and Fournier, and that's why, and that's why they got nineteen. 19 two, before nineteen, <laughs> that right. There you go. Right. Shot him right out of it. They shot him out of it. So that sounds good. What well, what we need is Randall to understand that this is a team sport, brother. If he could Randall got to be able to be like, yo, damn, I got it like this. Now I can just put up twenty and there ten. we go. Yeah, but no, that that's not in his yeah. mindset. No, and like I right said, now. Not like right I said, now. he he got to he got to evolve because like I said, he got to evolve because him and Kimber like the same side of the floor and Kimba is they both left handed. The, it's it's the lead guard. Right. You feel me? So No, no, no. So, I'm talking about RJ. So no, no, I'm talking about I'm talking about Kimba. Kimba, there you Kimba, go. Kimba Kimba is is the is the lead guard. He's a respectable guard. Randall respect him. So that's why Kimba don't really I mean that's why sorry, Randall don't really play the point forward no more. But he is on Randall's side. Randall needs space to work. He you understand what I'm saying? Space. So last year he was on this side. Now this year he on this side. So like, his his go to move is on the same side same as Kemba. Kemba. So right there, he's out of whack. This is so going, like in the middle right. of the season. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the season, mm -hmm. give him some time. Right. He may be able to adjust to that. I'm hoping he do. The he may need to adjust way, to it. The only way this shit is gonna work. That we, I'm, I'm with what you're talking about. All Jizzle is gonna keep having to hit those corner threes. We can't have R J digressing. Not hitting those corner threes because he's been hitting them corner threes for the last two games. That's so, where RJ gets. Too. Yeah, that's where RJ so gets his bread. 
But the difference you know is, like I said, with I this see, game right I here. See you got something to say about it. Go ahead. Yeah, you got something you got to say. Uh, so how y'all took him out? A uh, uh, Joe Johnson or Paul Pierce? That's what Joe Johnson been doing. And Paul, Yo, Pe- tonight, Paul Pierce tonight, was the number one Johnson though. forever. Listen, We're listen, not going to talk about what Antoine Walker did to his game. Because I, I, I could dig deep about, well, yeah. about Antoine Walker with the yeah. shimmy, shimmy, y'all, shimmy. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yo, that's why they got rid of the motherfucker. When we, when we end this show tonight. Right. Y'all get a chance? Right. Look at Paul Pierce and, and, and Joe Johnson. It's going to be even, exactly even, what I'm talking about, it, bro. It's not, though. It just is. look at the game. Just look Just look at like, it. Like, scribe and comment, man. Urban talk. Urban talk, man. We're going to talk RJ, that shit, man. Uh, RJ, Paul Pierce, and fucking um, Joe Johnson, I believe, is the same lineage of players. RJ, RJ could be a better, RJ could be a Lamar owner. The Ooh, fuck is you yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, like, right? Where are we going? He could be a Lamar no, owner. We, no, we, no, 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 we talking about? Better. Yo, we bro? go, we gonna end the yeah, show with that one. Joe Johnson and Paul Joe Johnson and Paul Pitt. Pitt. They're scorers and facilitators. That's where they all start perennial. Yo, what the fuck you had? Lamar Odom has never been an all star in his life. He was drinking. We was drinking. Yo. Yeah, what happened? Or is that, is, is, Where is, did you go? No, it was the, it's that gas. It was, okay, it, it was yeah, the gas. It was the gas. Yo, kids, yeah. kids, yeah. stay off. <laughs> Yo, it was the gas. Go, I love gas. you, nigga. <laughs> Yo, Yo, it was the gas. Yo, man. nigga. Like, Yo. We're not talking about no Lamar yeah, Autumn. Man. Lamar Autumn was a great passer. Yeah. Lamar Autumn was a great... Um, weak side Lamar defender. Oda, Lamar, Lamar Oda was a was a good tip in. Of course he did uh, because he had Kobe. Lamar was a great we, passer. Yeah, because he was passing right, to the right, late and the right, great motherfucking great, eight and twenty four. No, I ain't never seen RJ do a floater. Now y'all about to make me come do at we, RJ like I ain't do no we, like Do we RJ. have the late and the great eight and twenty four <laughs> on our team? No, we don't. No, Kobe no. Bryant. No. Let's not Period. talk about. I'm just talking about the game. Uh, I'm just talking about what Lamar Odom, what Lamar Odom was. How much Lamar Odom was drinking help. <laughs> all night long. <laughs> let me tell you something, nigga. This man right here said that uh, RJ is similar to Lamar Odom, not me. Not me either. I'm holding on to Joe Johnson yo, and Paul yo, Pierce. Listen, you listen, the one who said yo, Paul Pierce yo, first. Listen. I said Paul Pierce. Yo, oh, listen. Oh, okay. I said listen Pierce. to Patrick Ewing and Charles Oakley if y'all want. Yeah, you be talking about <laughs> Paul Pierce and Joe Johnson. That's why the Knicks always went wrong. You said no, Joe Johnson. No, no, no. I, I said, said Joe Johnson. Never said Joe no, Johnson. Johnson. I said Joe Johnson. I said RJ would be never compared to, ne- he would never be better than Joe Johnson and Paul Pierce. I would never put him on that level. He's and on that same he level. Never put He's him on, on that, that same level, level bro. Yo, he's going in now. the first two and a half. It's yo, not even a half a year. Let me see y'all the comments. Comment. Yo, let's talk about it. This I say that RJ, RJ is on RJ the same level game wise. He's a mix Joe between Joe Johnson and Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce. Yeah, he really is, bro. But if you want to say Lamar Odom, Odom, you need to go fuck with the Kardashians like that nigga. Charles I don't Odom understand where that comparison Yo, came from. You could have said the Matrix. You could have said um. You, oh, the what, Matrix. What, who's Sean the, Marion. Who's Sean the, Marion. Yeah, who, who's RJ the, better than Sean Marion. Man, you just don't want RJ to shine at all, bro. RJ, yeah. better, RJ, RJ, Barrett, RJ Barrett is better than Sean Marion. Whoa, RJ, yeah. Sean Marion was an all-star. Sean Marion may had that funky-ass J, but Sean yeah, Marion was Sean a Marion shaker. Sean Marion wasn't a player, And a, and a player, baker. Man. With, with the South Marion and the West. Sean, 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 Sean Marion wasn't a... Listen, he was a corner three-pointer shot. Listen, not all the time. Listen, that's what Dan Tony was running. I said, listen, I said that's what Dan Tony was running with him and Quentin Richardson. RJ is a three and D-line. That was an all-three-pointer all fucking team. And a facilitator. He got all-around game. And Amari in the middle like that. Amari, don't fucking compare Randall to Amari. Amari is a fucking... A god compared to fucking uh, Randall. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, man. Are we leaving Urban Talk Network on a fucking to be continued? We definitely leave it to be continued. Yo, man. These guys is No, you can't. Listen, man. Lamar Odom. That's how it is on Urban Talk Network. Joe Johnson? Joe Johnson. Paul Paul Pierce. That's a fact. 
It's a thirty-five fact. point. Let uh, um, talk, talk, talk about RJ line that's tonight. No, RJ had a uh, thirty-five, thirty-five, eight and six. Thirty-five, eight and six. Google it. How many times Lamar had all thirty-five, eight and six? Can't be done, bro. It can't Listen, be done. Listen, man. That can't was one done. game. No, he there's no one game. That. Nah, nah. Nice. He's been close ever since, bro. Listen. Yeah. Let's 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 end it on. Y'all, y'all, don't do that. I like RJ. <laughs> I like RJ, man. Don't Let's end it on the Knicks note. We gonna end it on the Knicks note. There's a lot of okay, thirty eight players, man. Okay. I can go crazy. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. Don't do that. Positive. See, y'all just sit and say, oh, yeah, yeah, money make a man. Don't play good every game. Yeah, we and did. RJ don't play good every we game. We did. We did. Look, that's okay. how real it is. My son' pictures is falling. Okay. Yo. End it on. End it on the Knicks high note. What, what you think about the high note of the Knicks? High note. Let's talk about something good. Next top quick. five. Next top five. Of course, of course. Top, top five, five in the East. Yeah. Knicks, uh, See, about to start another argument. Of, of See, course. Because I think the Knicks is top three. Mm, I think top, I, I, they're top I, three. I, 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 top we, five. We haven't three. played Philly, that. Philly, Philly, Philly done fell off. Philly, like, Philly definitely fell off. They, they fell off. They, 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 they got fell soap off. operas. Yeah. They fell off. Philly is soap operas. They fell off. You understand what I'm saying? We top three. High note High note for the Knicks, I think that we we have definitely changed the culture. We definitely reprogrammed, and Dang Kemba man. has um, he's coming, he's he, he fell he fell out. into line Kem, Kemba's that coming right Rose to don't have to think so much. You understand what I'm saying? That's the only thing that I want all year is for Rose. That's for Rose. The only thing I only thing I want all year is for Rose not to feel like he has to take over because his days of taking over is over. You understand what I'm saying? We need Rose to be that mid ground. But but, but every but every every every. <laughs> Listen, That's every play I'm on the Knicks, though. I'm just laughing. Yo, I'm ready to from one, for your son, from the yo, one to the four, man. Agree, RJ Barrett like Joe Johnson. Listen, For man. sure. Listen, let me get my point for up, For sure. Man. Let me get my point up. What you <laughs> said about Rowe. <laughs> Lamar Odom. And then make <laughs> sure you say, or oh, is he like say, Lamar Odom? I'm going to say Lamar Odom. Or make make sure you say. I say, yo, no better version of Lamar Odom. That's a fact. No, more. Come on. Go ahead, bro. Come on, man. We can't do this. So you, so you want my man to. So fuck being in the brothel. You want my man to buy his own ah, brothel. Coke you want my boys. man to buy his own brothel. Coke like, boys. Nigga, like you, no, like, sir. The we fuck can't is you got in this that. cup, man? We can't fuck with that. Like, yo, about yo, you we gonna leave I'm not talking about all that. Yo, no, listen. We're going to leave it alone. It's I'm just your being to be continued, man. Urban talk network. Yo, listen, man. People, and this is how we get down, bro. This is what we doing, man. This is how we get down. Urban talk network. Lamar. We need y'all to like and subscribe. Yes, guys. You know what I mean? Look, he pouring more liquor. He don't need you know to I mean? drink no more. <laughs> yo, listen. Go ahead. So, so yo. Wrap it up. Yo, yo like I said again, man. Yo, Urban Talk Network. Roaster. I'm going to ask y'all that question. Yo, man. Roaster, man. I want to see some comments about this one right What's here, good? man. What's good? Yo, Manati, shout out, man. You yo, know what I'm saying? Shout out, man. Definitely, definitely, man. At the end of the day, 123-117, New York Knicks. New York Knicks. Game. Urban Talk <laughs> Network. <laughs> Belly over here drunk. Love my Odom. Biggs over here talking his shit. Yo, the nigga said, my this guy is, said, yo, yo, Pat and Oakley, man, that's crazy. Yo, yo, that's listen, what it is. Listen, man, Urban Talk Network. Urban Talk Network. Like, subscribe. <laughs> Peace, love, and blessings, man. Please. Yo, we out of here. Yeah, yo, we still man. gonna drink. We love each other. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Just <laughs> guy. <laughs>